right, well, let's go ahead and start introducing them. Here they come on up. We have Matilda Smenes, the voice of Brigitta. Carolina Ravasa, the voice of Sombra. Lead writer of Overwatch, Michael Chu. And of course, the voice of May, woo! Elise Yang. How are you? Dias. Good? Are y'all awake? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> Barely? Let's let's see who I am today. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's disappointing. Okay. So you can talk like Sombra All the right. whole time. Yep. <laughs> Hack the planet. How are you guys doing today? I'm asking them, not you guys. You guys already had my time. Hey guys, it's Michael from the Overwatch team. <laughs> Is that how he sounds? Kinda. <laughs> guys, it's Michael from the Overwatch that's, team. That's guys, Jeff's line, though. Yeah, oh, that's yeah I know. What's your line? I don't, I don't have one. I don't write lines. <laughs> He's terrible at writing, guys. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, we just took over, Jake. Go to, go to town. Oh, What's yeah, up? Sorry. No, no, sorry. Go, go, go. No, I'm, you're being recorded by a second. I'm just kidding. Um, how are you guys doing today? Hey, okay. It is now the final day here at Sack Anime. How have you guys enjoyed the weekend over here? It's been amazing, um, honestly. It's my second time ever in the States, and I've just had the best time talking to you guys and being able to work on my English a bit uh, has been really nice. and It's just been awesome, honestly. It's wonderful to hear. Her English is so terrible, I'm really glad she's gotten a chance to work <laughs> on it. Yeah, it's been great, guys. Sacramento's beautiful, right? Mm -hmm. I've never been, so I'm having a great time. You guys are amazing. We're going to chat today some more, so think of some cool questions. Yeah, it's been cool because um, I think I haven't been to Sacramento in like 20-something years, so I was wondering if it was like, I'm like, I wonder if it's like how I remember it, and my memory was clearly completely wrong because <laughs> I'm like, this, I can't actually recognize this place at all, so, but so it's you, been awesome. You came when you were three? I came when I was like three years old, yeah. Okay. No. <laughs> This older. is my second time here. I was here in Second Me uh, in January, and here, here I am. I am, I am again. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, and I see a lot of uh, good, amazing cosplayers. So I love it. Amazing. That's again. the first one. Yeah. <laughs> it started. What? Oh, uh, the amazing. You said amazing. Uh oh. <laughs> yep. Every time no, you say amazing. No, I'm not the first one. Matilda said that. Oh, you're that no, okay, you That's too. the first one. Right, We're gonna start an amazing jar, and that that'll fund count. trips for fun. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we'll be in. Yeah. I'll do a counter over here. I'll just start counting up. Two so far, right? Oh, yep. Okay, good. we have two so far. Where, where, where do we want to go? The Middle East, Australia. At the rate. Italy. That, at the rate that we say amazing, I we think we could we'll go around the world. Anywhere. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's round trip. No, it doesn't count if we're referencing the amazing jar. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So we're at two. F from now on, though. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're good. But like, we're good, if we're I good. no, not yet. So okay. if I say like, oh, put that in. Uh, if I go amazing, and then I go put that in the amazing jar. That's only one. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just, uh, now we all know the rules. <laughs> okay. Are you guys with us? Yeah. Everybody yeah. needs to be on the their rules coffee there. for all this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now you guys we can guess how many times we're gonna we're gonna say it. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Two. Seventeen. Seventeen. Fifty. Does anyone want to bet on how? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I will put that in the jar. Yeah. <laughs> they don't win. Sorry, Jay. <laughs> yes, we completely hijacked again. This is Sorry. about you guys, not about me. And we <laughs> totally interrupted Elise. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's oh, right. Oh my gosh. Sorry. Yes. We're so it's rude. I'm sorry. So rude. It's your second time in Sacramento, and it's. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that counts. Yes, yes, I agree. So glad to hear that you guys had. Uh, I almost said it. Ooh. I caught myself. I caught myself. You all saw that. But you guys have had a great time out here. Um, seeing the fans line up for everyone has been intense. How does it feel to be having so many fans come to your tables and you know tell you guys you know, their stories about their passion for the game? I mean, it's weird. I feel like I'm. Well, I am on the other side of the planet, and having people to to want to see me here is just. It's weird and it's mm, awesome. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, so, <laughs> God, I can't speak naturally. You need a thesaurus. 
Um, we really do, we really do. Um, no, but uh, just being on the other side of the world and having like friends here is just awesome, Crazy. marvelous, <laughs> marvelous. <laughs> exquisite. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, I mean, guys, it's, I think this is what we love about uh, being part of this game is not just that we get to play really cool characters, but we get to meet you guys, which is, I never thought it was, I, I'd worked on other video games before, but I'd never traveled the world to meet um, the community that is part of this game, and uh, I've had a really, really special time connecting with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's awesome. Just I really enjoy, you know, getting to hear like what stuff you guys all care about and are really interested in, and um, the balance changes that you all want. Um, but uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, uh, I I think it's just great um, to be able to like put faces to the people who who care a lot about the game. So that's that's my favorite part. Mm. I thought it's my second time here, so there won't be so many people to my table. But it seems mm. like you still love me, <laughs> yes. and that's. Fantastic! Of <laughs> oh. Voice line. <laughs> oh my um, god, now May's gonna have a million voice lines that are just like, marvelous, great, yeah. woo, <laughs> cool, <laughs> exquisite. That's good. Excelsior. <laughs> I like it. Excelsior. <laughs> what's, that? What's, what's that word? Excelsior? Uh huh. Uh, it just means like really good. Uh huh. Yeah. It's Excel also some team in the Overwatch League. Excelsior. Some team. Excelsior. Excelsior. It's the motto of. Uh, of New York or just Manhattan? I forget. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll look up in the dictionary. Excelsior. <laughs> it's also the name of a uh, Sulu ship, I think, in Star Trek. Oh. Or no, it's not. Wait. It is. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> I just remember because he's like, uh, USS Excelsior. I just did a what a great word. Overwatch Thank panel you. we have here. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I swear we have not had any alcohol this morning, but it is a very strange morning. Yes. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Sunday fun day. Indeed, happy Sunday. Now, I do have a question for all of you, of course. Go figure, right? <laughs> so how does it feel to now, this is one of some, for some of you, this is your first opportunity meeting Michael. Michael, this is your first opportunity meeting, I believe, uh, Matilda. How has it been for some of you to be with the actual voice actors as opposed to being like on a computer, maybe in a car somewhere, <laughs> you know, online? Mm -hmm. I, think, I feel like it's been a great time getting to actually hang out with you because we've only had sessions over the internet, so... <laughs> It's been like, I don't know what time it's been for you guys when we record. For me, it's been 6 p.m. Um, I think it is, it's in the morning. So like yeah. a.m. Yeah. So we have to have weird, weird recording sessions because the time difference. Um, but, I mean, you're funny. It's nice. It's <laughs> nice to finally meet you, I think. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's always fun to uh, meet the person behind the voice because uh, it's just like, you're all such awesome people. I like hanging out with all of you. Yay. <laughs> Have you guys enjoyed the food Michael out here? will remember this. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys enjoyed the food out here? What food? <laughs> we haven't gotten fed in three days, guys. I think that's why we're a little <laughs> loopy right now. I went to Mikuni's twice. Um, it's a really good restaurant. No sponsor, but it's, it's a really good restaurant. Yeah, no, it's been amazing. We had a good, really good dinner last night. Um, the only good things about Sacramento <laughs> so far. I had, I had so ramen, one day left. I had ramen twice, so I'm pretty pretty satisfied. I have sushi twice. <laughs> <laughs> we dragged her out twice. To see. That's right. Sorry. <laughs> Any recommendation for tonight? Mm -hmm. More sushi. <laughs> Mikunis. Melting, Melting pot. pot. Okay. Taking the notes. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Oh, yeah, oh, cool. yeah, yeah. Where's that? Sacramento. Cool. Am I blocking your view? Uh, a bit. It's just a voice over there. Yeah. <laughs> Big a dragon is it? God? <laughs> like, is it God? <laughs> <laughs> me, Margaret. <laughs> I'm just going to throw my recommendation in, and I'm sure Emil will agree with me. Joe's Crab Shack. <laughs> oh, yeah, cool, cool. Yeah, we had a... Opa. Good time there. With that being said, is that uh, like a paid endorsement? <laughs> <laughs> Jay Hashtag the no boy. spawns. Back anime congo. Or <laughs> if you're looking for a good time, it's crab legs. <gasps> you should do crab shack. You should do voice work, Michael. <laughs> yes, you should. New hero, right? Yes. 
And it's just, it shouldn't be another hero. It should just be Michael in the game. No, no, no. It should be right? Master Chu. How perfect would that be? Where is he coming from? Where is he coming from? The new hero, Michael. No, oh. no. It's oh. just, it's literally Michael in game. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Like standing that there with like ramen. A <laughs> in an no, Overwatch shirt. No, he would shirt. be really deadpan and funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But I think, guys, anytime you, you tweet at him, use hashtag Master Chu. That's my new thing. We're going to make it a thing. Yeah. Oh his, wipe, uh, his weapon must be ramen. Ramen bowl? Yeah. Uh -huh. Ramen yeah. bowl. Oh. Ooh. I like that. Oh, my gosh. Use the noodle as a whip. <laughs> noodle to the face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all my voice lines are just ref reference. <laughs> reference. Voice lines. Yes. Or food references. Eat the planet. You're so, yes. <laughs> You're such a foodie. I think it could yes. all be related to food and you would be solid. Oh, my God. And then there has to be one, um, one like, highlight intro where you just stand there and you go like this. Like Winston. Winston does that. Oh, no. Yeah. Yes. I think so, yeah. Okay. Well, Sorry, spaghetti Jay. rains <laughs> from above. <laughs> Let's move this along. We don't want to bore yes. you. Yes. Oh, my God. Please. I think you just made someone want to go to change.org and it's going to be make Michael Chu a hero. <laughs> Uh-oh. Now, I got some questions for you guys that were submitted to me on uh, Facebook. Oh. Yeah, I know. People actually message me. <laughs> I'm surprised, too. So, being that there are so many amazing events in Overwatch. <laughs> the jar, the jar, dude. <gasps> Ah, dang it! Yeah! yeah! <laughs> we got you! We got you! <sighs> He's got to put a hundred bucks in it when he says it. Oh, I like this guy. <gasps> I'm a just a rule. content creator. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Being that there are awesome <laughs> events in Overwatch, we've seen events like the, you know, the holiday with you know, May and the Yeti battle, the Halloween event, and of course we have the summer games going on right now, I believe. I believe they're still going on. I, I think <clears> they're over now. They are over? Yeah. Uh, I didn't get my Roadhog skin. Oh, mm. oh that one has uh... What are some of your guys' personal favorite events? Or maybe if you don't want to see the event itself, the skins from the events. Sack anime, obviously. Ah. Hey! Whoa. I really like the Halloween skins a lot. Um, because it's Halloween. And um, I like playing Lucio Ball, so I like the summer games as well. I like the Christmas event where Tracer's sharing her Christmas presents with Emily. Um, I really like <laughs> Halloween because I think the Jenkinstein thing's really fun and uh, I love hearing Darren doing his, like, Reinhardt doing Vincent Price as a dungeon master thing, so yeah. Awesome. Um, I also like that it, it's, it's a fun one to write because it's like, uh, it's not really real, but it's kind of real. There's like a, just a little bit of reality in there, so. Mm -hmm. I love the Yeti hunting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one. Because I can see, uh, especially the little cartoon before. Oh, the, yeah. the, the, there's like six or five little May mm -hmm. playing with, with Winston. <laughs> yeah. And finally, they, the, suddenly they begin to chase him. And that's kind of evil and cute. <laughs> uh, yeah, just, wait, what's evil? Who's evil? Not May. <laughs> oh, okay, just checking. It is, it is funny, because I think in her, two, in her two events, she's a little bit uh, meaner than normal, right? Yeah. I just want to study you. Why are you running away from me? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't remember the lines. You're so good. Oh, oh because you He writes down. them. Oh, yeah, that's why. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, uh, I just, if I, think, if I say a line, like, mm -hmm. and it wasn't one, I'll just put it in the game. That way it'll be like, it was oh, there. Oh, good one. There all along. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. That's true, yeah. In the next what? recording session. I'll get, just get a dino flask to just put it together for me. Ah. <laughs> With the abilities of your characters, is there an ability that you would like to add on to your individual character? Like Pet a new power? Petting cats. <laughs> Petting cats. I just imagine her like walking around on a map and like if she sees a cat, she has to stop to pet it because <laughs> I do that. <laughs> Right? <laughs> New emotes. I think you should like summon a like herd of cats or something. Like, yes. You go like rally to me and then yeah. all the all the cats just start <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> oh my god, yes. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's the greatest idea. That's amazing. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. I love I like Team Meow. Oh, that's a new, a new voice line. Guys, we're getting voice lines <laughs> left and right. I'm not Everybody's even getting this here. Kid. Amazing. Yeah. I think oh. that was more like Roadhog. Yeah. Well, one of those. They all go down there. A uh, what? What was the question? If, if Ability, could, yeah. yeah. So, if I apagarless loose ace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I went there. I went there. What if Sombra said, apagando las loose ace? Oh, God. Okay, no. Um, I, I, I would love to, when I hack everyone, I can, br- I can take on somebody's power oh. for Ooh. four or five seconds. Because you guys are so fast, you can do so much in those five seconds. Yes. Um, so I just kind of get, take on their ultimate or whatever, and boom, 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 and I'm out. I think Sombra's ability, should, you should be able to like, hack the player's like, bank account. Oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. Um, I've been trying to steal cell phones here at the table. <laughs> it's not working too well, um, but I'm working on like trying to stealthily hack something. They usually catch me. I'm not very good yet. Um, I, I hope there's no CD for Blizzard. For my Blizzard. Is that called CD? CD? No way. Uh, I can freeze. Freeze anytime I want. Oh, no cool I don't down. have to wait. Oh, wow. It's CD. <laughs> oh, wow. Down with the lingo. Yeah. That's called CD in China. Oh, Persona. I see. Okay. No, just joking. Maybe I want her to move faster. Mm. Maybe like Lucio. That would be good. You know, <laughs> you know, the one that always comes up is that she can move, she can slide around on her. On, what in the was blizzard. it? Yeah. yeah. Didn't you say that? Um, on the day zero panel that she could like freeze the ground and then yeah. slide on it. Yeah, you imagine like if she had like ice skates like. Yeah. Oh cool. Uh, use her blaster yeah. Uh, yeah. on the ground and it's like Yeah, and then you can just like slide. Yeah. Or you can make the enemy slide and fall. Oh, yeah, that's good. I think we need to ask Matilda about all of our supposed <laughs> powers because she knows best <laughs> as a player. Seriously. Ooh, this is a really good one. What in your life experience do you feel has been most helpful in becoming a good voice actor? And for your case, Michael, for writing a character story. I'm going to have to think about this one. I I think Uh, just... What life experiences do you have that... um, (laughs) um, Yeah, he can can, can translate over there. Uh, I feel like as a kid I was really hyperactive and um, unapologetic. And so I would, <laughs> I would imitate my parents' friends all the time. Like the German lady would come over for dinner, and I'm like, oh, she's talking about the Wutschaks. And my mom was like, oh, you know? <laughs> and so because I was kind of not shy about that, I would imitate a lot of accent. My grandma is American, even though I grew up in Colombia, and her <laughs> Spanish was terrible. She's so cute. Ella hablaba así. And so she would have said, apagando las luces, swear to God. Uh, she was from Wisconsin. So... Um, I grew up with her and, and my parents in Colombia, so I spoke both languages. So I was very attuned to languages and, and accents, and I would just imitate them. And I loved watching cartoons and imitating the cartoons. And so I think that if you just talk t- to yourself all the time and like a crazy person, you know, you create a lot of characters. So I knew that, like, I like doing kid voices, but it was because I just started imitating some cartoon, you know. And I think that now that's gotten me jobs, you know. Obviously, I went through training, I went to college, acting, all that stuff, but I think that just being creative and letting your imagination run a little wild is super helpful. So if your kids are weird like that, let them. (laughs) Just embrace the weirdness. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, embrace the weirdness. (laughs) Be unique. I was trying to think of something that wasn't obvious, like, oh, I read stuff that was really cool and I wrote wrote stuff. Um, So... Maybe playing like role-playing games um, because, and I mean like with other people because, um, because like you have to make a story with other people and you don't know exactly where they're going, but you're trying to like make things it's like for example like dungeon mastering because you're you've got to like you have to make the story you have to deal with like uh, surprise things like you're like oh I really want people to go over here and like fight the dragon but they're like oh I, I think this like blacksmith in town is really interesting you're like oh god I have to make up a story about this blacksmith that I <laughs> really just wanted you to buy a hammer from or something um, so I think doing that was really good for like understanding this like collaborative 
storytelling process and like in, in games, like you're always collaborating or um, you're always having to deal with stuff that you didn't expect would happen. So I think, uh, I think that was good, good training. When I was like a uh, thir 13 or 14 years old, I was so obsessed of, of voice acting. So I used the, those uh, little recorders and tapes. I record whatever I like from TV, from uh, the movie, anything like that. And I listen to those dialogues as music every day. And I, I like to repeat after them like I was um, voice acting the character. Mm. I think that helps a lot because I, I didn't study like acting or um, c comedy or theater, anything. I didn't start. I majored chemical technology in, colli in college, but I think the, um, I like to copy what I heard and that helps me a lot. She's May in real life. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think my parents are both actors, both voice actors and, and um, what do you say, like? On camera, on or theater camera, actors. Theater actors and stuff like that. So I've always like found theater and drama really, really interesting. And I've always, I think I've always done voices. Like, I can't even like, I can't even explain it, but if, I w if I'm walk watching TV, like if someone says something in a funny way or if I'm talking to someone and they say something in a funny way, like not in, even in a funny way, just in a way and it's unusual to like what I'm used to, I just mimic it like instantly and I say it out loud and it gets really awkward sometimes. Um, but like, I don't know, I just constantly, I always think about like the melodies that people speak in and like even like the musical melody that people use, like it's just, I can't even explain it. It's always like in me, like I always like process when people talk as a melody, I guess. And then, I don't know, it's really weird to explain, but I mimic everything I hear all the time. And So you also talk to yourself. I also talk to okay. myself, yes, uh, yes, very actually, much. It actually totally makes sense though, because uh, when I'm writing and stuff, I think a lot about the way that the, like the inflection goes and stuff. And mm -hmm. I have like musical background, so I always think that I, that's part of like the way that I think about how people talk. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, it, the musical year really helps, and yeah, I, I sound like I'm a psycho or something, but like I really, I just can't stop thinking about how people say stuff, and I find it very interesting. So that helps a lot, I think, with voice acting. Can't stop, won't stop. Oh <laughs> right? You scared me. Oh <laughs> <laughs> I'm awake. <laughs> so I had to rephrase this one a little bit. This one's uh, for you, Michael. I'm, okay. But I, I'm rephrasing it for everyone, too. Oh, okay. Okay. So, Michael, being that you are part of Blizzard Entertainment, a company that has grown so large over the years and has been known for many titles, how does it feel to know, as someone who works in developing these games, that there's a lot of fans who actually care to know who you are and the people who work on the games, such as yourself, Jeff Kaplan, Samwise Didier, Chris Metzen. Um, it's definitely, it's definitely kind of weird. Um, I don't think I'm particularly like an interesting like subject of study, but um, I think uh, if anything, I hope that people are able to like look at you know like a Jeff or like a, a Sammy and and like take something from their careers or see how they succeeded because I think like they're all very open about it and like you know like it can seem like you know, someone like Jeff Kaplan or something is just like one constant like ascension to being awesome, but like, you know, we all go through lots of different things. So I think um, that's probably the part that I hope people can take away. <laughs> and to rephrase that for you, all of you, this one is um, how does it feel to be part of something that is Blizzard Entertainment? You know, the games that they've created, the worlds, the universes, and especially now with Overwatch actually tying into now more into Heroes of the Storm, how does it feel to be part of such a vast and big company. Awesome. <laughs> I remember like my second voice test and I found out that it was for Blizzard and I was just freaking out and I couldn't like for me I was like okay I'll do like an NPC in like World of Warcraft or something like that. I I just couldn't imagine that it would be the game that I happened to play. Um, and then during my third voice test when I realized it was Overwatch, it was overwhelming and like just 
undescribable. So it, it feels. Oh, I almost said it. Amazing. I almost said it. See, you were like circling it. Like. <laughs> um, but no, yeah, I. It's it's undescribable. Honestly, I'm. I just I'm, I keep like fangirling still over like getting this gig because it's just the coolest thing that's happened to me. I think. She stands outside my hotel room all night. <laughs> it's really creepy. <laughs> like she won't stop. <laughs> yeah. Like stop. Um, <laughs> She's not I'm, kidding, I'm kidding, guys. I'm really kidding. Um, I think we've said this a million times. Uh, a lot of us didn't know uh, what this was going into it, and I used to think games were just uh, entertainment that you guys have fun with, and and it's a lot larger than that. It's um, this game is is teaching people about culture and language and um, and being strong and and confident and brave and different. And all of our heroes have different abilities, and they're not um, their insecurities turn into their power or their what sometimes we call handicap is what actually makes them strong. And so I really think that this is um, this is m making it a better. What, what's our what's our our tagline? Optimistic future. Better no, world. Create the world you want to live in or oh, something? Oh, yeah, yeah. That Sorry, good. Anjali is my PR agent, yeah. so she knows how to talk <laughs> about it. But I, I think that we've, we've realized that this, this game has such a, such a crazy outreach to the whole world, and um, it, it's the fan art. It's, it's you guys playing. It's you guys connecting to other people in the world. It's us connecting with the, with the creators at Blizzard, with the Overwatch, uh, with the, the cast of the voice actors. Uh, it's just a really magical thing to be a part of. I, uh, I really I didn't like my answer, so I'm gonna addend, I'm gonna <laughs> add an addendum, which is um, I think one of the things that's weird is like um, like I don't make Overwatch myself. Like we have a huge team of people, and um, they're sort of like the uh, you know they don't get as much you know screen time or whatever. But like the Overwatch team is like a crack squad of just like amazing artists, engineers, producers, like everything. So um, I think that like. The important thing to remember is that Overwatch is like a giant team effort, so, yeah. I want to talk about uh, the localization, mm -hmm. is that Local right yep. word, uh, in, in China. Uh, because some other uh, game companies, they don't pay much attention to that part. So the translation might be awful, and, <laughs> <laughs> and, and there might be some weird word they, they, they like to use, and uh, they don't pay much attention to the uh, dubbing, the voice acting, when it's uh, uh, other language, uh, yeah, besides English. Uh, but Blizzard, they pay so much attention in the local localization part, and we really love the translation, and they pay so much attention to the acting part. So uh, it is really professional. I, we, all voice actors in China, love to work with Blizzard. And I really like it when Blizzard do those char charity things. You know, I, I don't play games much, so I don't pay money for them a lot. But when I saw the Mercy charity thing, I, I pay. Yeah, I, bu I bought the skin without a thought. So that's really Aww. something nice. I really love it. I'll just go ahead and say it. That's amazing. <gasps> yeah. 200 Jar. bucks. I'll buy drinks later. <laughs> eight? Water. We're at eight? And we're really controlling ourselves. If we weren't yes. thinking about it, it would be, you know, 50. Yeah. <laughs> Just saying, the water's on me. <laughs> 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 hey, you count too. Well, let's go ahead and start uh, moving to our Q&A. Sure. One amazing. Please uh, come on up. Uh, uh, State uh, your uh, name. Two amazing. Stay your name. Uh, Say your uh, name. Uh, 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 dude. Hi. Hello. 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 Uh, my question is to Sombra. Uh, when you play Overwatch as your character, who do you hate, like, despise versus... Like love that she, I love that she thinks I play often. <laughs> um, I have played w once in my life, oh. and it was really hard to do and stressful, fun and stressful at the same time. So uh, honestly, I was just trying to stay alive, um, but not succeeding. And I was just, I was getting distracted by, oh my God, I just, you know, a diva just died. And I'm like, whoa, she got cut in half, you know, because I've, I, I, 
a lot of stuff happens in game where I'm like, oh my god, her leg went that way, and now she's dead. And, and seeing another Sombra die on the other side was like, <gasps> you know? <laughs> I hadn't seen Sombra die. It was crazy, guys. And then, like, we were in the Greek world, or one of those that looks like Mykonos or something. What's it called? I- Ilias. Thank you. And uh, I was like, oh my god, this is beautiful. I want to go explore the view. And they're like, uh, Sombra, we're fighting. And I'm like, oh yeah, right. So, honestly, it was... Um, I. Your, I can't answer your question because there was no strategy behind what I was doing. I was hitting <laughs> buttons and trying to stay alive and, I was, and move in the right direction and not just like hit a wall constantly. So, so no character I think what she means to say is Genji. Genji, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I thought it would have been a junk rat or tracer or something. You know what? Let's go with that. Oh. <laughs> that sounds like a great answer. Yes. Thanks, mate. Yeah, you got it. Great cosplay. Thank you. Oh, hello. Uh, I'm Joseph. My Hi. question is for uh, the voice actors mostly. It's uh, how does it feel to have uh, your characters be the most controversial in the game? <laughs> and what I mean by that is that everyone hates playing both with them and against them. Exception for with for Brigitte, but double so for against. Um, I'm going to let my PR agent handle this one. Uh, uh, oh. Let's, uh, <laughs> let me think about that for a while. What was, what was the question? Was, uh, how do you feel about being... Having our characters be loved and hated. Or, or pl- oh. hated to play and to play against. Yeah. That just means you're awesome. Right? I yeah. mean, That seems yeah. great to me. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. I think it makes us Even interesting. one would say amazing. <laughs> I, I don't think we think about it like that. We just, uh, there's so many components to the game. I think that's even, even if some people hate playing Sombra, they love the, um, the infiltration short or they love reading the comics. And I think that you can love a character without loving to play them. So, I mean, if Sombra's hated, I mean, Sombra doesn't care, obviously, because she's <laughs> way too cool for that. But um, yeah, I don't think we, we think about it in that, in that sense. It's just like, well, we're part of this world, and if you don't like our character, you can play 26 other ones, you know? Or 27 mm-hmm. other ones? How many are we now? 28? 28. 28. So, yeah. What she said. I lost track, like, easily. Like, at 23, I think. I was like, <laughs> I don't know. Can't, can't count that high. Too many. Too many. <laughs> Hey, I thought May was a cute character at, <laughs> at the beginning. She is a cute character. Yeah, and, and then I saw people on Twitter or YouTube or something. They say May Satan or May <laughs> Evil, <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> but actually I was like, <laughs> <laughs> so you are evil. <laughs> Tell us about what happened to those scientists. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Hello there. Ooh, a Hogwarts alumni. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Nice. What house are you? Uh, probably just Gryffindor because I do Gryffindor. stupid stuff. Gryffindor. Nice. Uh, I have a question for like uh, Michael and May, but they're like two separate questions. Uh, so when the design team showed uh, Hammond to you, Michael, were mm-hmm. you like, why do I have to like come, <laughs> like, <laughs> were you like, really have to come up with a backstory for a hamster? Um, I think, yeah, immediately the challenge of uh, bringing a hamster that rolls around in a ball into Overwatch, I was like, okay, we never think about this one. Um, and so uh, kind of the, the direction I went was, like, okay, it's clearly one of the more out there characters, I think it's fair to say. I'm like, well, there's like two out there places in our game, which is the moon and then Junkertown. So I'm like, moon seems pretty obvious, like, because it's got to be a big hamster and actually like a gigantic, enormous <laughs> hamster. Yeah. Um, because uh, I don't think hamsters grow to like a foot and eight inches. Like, um, so I was like, okay, yeah, genetic therapy, that makes sense. Um, and then I was like, oh, wouldn't it be funny if he like crash landed in Junkertown? And like, so he sort of experienced the two out there parts of the universe. So um, yeah, it was definitely a, it was, it was a challenge. I'm like, I don't know what we're gonna do. Then we had to decide like, does he talk? Does he squeak? So yeah. Also um, for May, as like you play a climatologist in the game. So when people like say global warming isn't real or they deny climate change, what's like your first reaction? Actually in my real life, I 
not May, in my real I life, know. I care a lot about the environment. So I, I, hate, I hate when people don't care. I, we don't have the, uh, you know, the, the, lo no, the, the trash. In, in America, you like to do different cans, yeah. different kind of trash. We separate but we our recyclables. Yeah, we don't do that in China. So I, I feel horrible about that. So I, I was in my, in my apartment, apartment. Yeah, I like to do like different, mm -hmm. different bins for different trash. And I bring uh, my shopping bag along. I don't use those plastic plastic bags a lot, mm. so I care about environment. I, I hope everyone do the same. Thank you. Right. <laughs> Thank you. May for president. Yes. <laughs> She's going to build that ice wall. I shouldn't have made that joke. Uh -oh. <laughs> Hello. So your heroes go to a pizza party. What toppings are you getting? Ooh. Oh. Artichoke. <laughs> the whole thing or just the heart? Artichoke hearts. Artichoke hearts. Yeah, uh, yeah. Don't get, cr don't get crazy <laughs> on me. <laughs> What's the password? Pizza I, toppings. I what? What, what, <laughs> what would May put, or actually, is it? Is it our is character? It characters or yeah, your character. Your character. What would May put on her pizza? Pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> Controversy. <laughs> <gasps> is that weird? Oh my god, this is no. such a good question. I want to give a good answer, but I honestly have no idea. Cat Maybe. food. That's t oh. <laughs> Tuna. <laughs> um, anchovies, yeah. Anchovies, yes. Yeah. I mean, maybe if we're at a pizza place and they serve like other things, I'll just get meatballs or with spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> but not on the pizza, on the side. As a dish, yes, as a separate right, yes, dish. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> Hi. Hi. So I have a question for Michael, mm -hmm. Caroline, I guess, in this. Um, so what do you think their characters would watch on TV? Ooh. Oh, boy. Um, <laughs> I feel like Sombra probably watches watched a lot of TV. Um, but I think now she probably just watches her like little security videos where she's spying on everyone. Like, ooh, isn't that interesting? Like, she's got all the TV she, she wants. Um, so yeah, that's probably Sombra. Brigida, obviously, uh, uh, cat memes are still a thing, and so oh God, they probably have like there's probably like a weekly show that just like gets Cats all of the uh, the cat <laughs> movies. Um, and May, you <coughs> probably watch uh, the twentieth version of uh, Journey to the West on. Uh, on <laughs> yeah. There's like lots of famous versions of Journey to the West in, in really? China. So yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. I don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much Yeah. There you go. All right. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. What was it called? Another Earth, Another Planet, Our Planet. That documentary with like the zooming in on like planet the planet. Planet Earth. Planet Earth. Yeah. yeah. Hi. Hi. My name's Ash. And um, I wanted to ask you guys if you guys can create, I know you may and some already have an animated short, but if you can create another animated short for your character, what would it be about? More cats. Um. <laughs> Oh, God. So many possibilities. I don't know. I have to think. <coughs> um, <laughs> maybe Sombra and Symmetra doing some Vishkar stuff. <laughs> maybe May will travel to the North Pole mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. and save those Polar bears. Would she oh save them God. by freezing them? <laughs> oh my freeze, God. Them, freeze them and bring them back to yeah. Antarctica? Yeah, maybe. Mm. I don't know. I have no idea. That was, that was actually one of the original character concepts that really? we thought about for May was that she was a bounty hunter who collected rare, like, endangered animals. <laughs> and she did it. No, 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 no. Wait, no, 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 no. Let me, what? Let me, let me May yeah. is evil no, then. No, 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 like Han Solo gets frozen in carbonite. Perfect hibernation. Thing. Mm. Um, we'll I think yeah. um, <laughs> I'd love to see the 
the family dynamics of Brigitte, like see her whole family uh, with Torbjorn and her mom and, and, and Reinhardt and see like just how her everyday life is and like yeah. with the cats. Yeah, like a Lindholm, and, like, Lindholm family reunion, yeah. like with her, her sisters and stuff. Yeah. yeah, exactly. To see like how their dynamic is and if she has to be like like a third parent because Torbjorn's out there fighting against the world and stuff like that. Michael, did you have an Anya short you wanted to have? Um, I have to be careful here so I don't get myself in trouble. Um, <laughs> I was thinking though that it, it'd be funny to see a like part two to funny. There'd be a part two to like uh, Rise and Shine where she's like, "Well, I got out of like the eco point. Now I have to walk across Antarctica." Like, how did she actually? Like, I don't think it was like oh. she got out and she's like, and then I got picked up by a traveling, yeah. you know. Uh -huh. uh, penguin who took me to <laughs> civilization. Like I think there's, it was still hard for her, so I bet she still had a lot of challenges to face. Yeah. Well, how, how did she make it? I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Ash. Hello. Hello. Um, so my question is mainly for Michael, but for all the voice actors as well. Um, what goes into planning? writing and then coordinating an event like Retribution or Uprising or Desert Sun? How long does that process kind of take? Um, that's a good question. So it's, al it's always a little different. Um, we actually start working on those um, quite a ways in advance because like of all the events, there's the most like stuff that goes into them. They're the most different. Um, so basically, you know, we, we come up with our, our general idea of what we want and then it's like, okay, do we need a map? You know, or do we need, you know, um, I guess mostly it's like, do you need a map? And then like, what other content do we need to build around it? And then um, figuring out like the mission objectives and playing it, making sure it's fun, and then writing all the dialogue and recording all the dialogue. So um, definitely like months and months ahead of time before they come out, we're, we're working pretty hard on them. Cool. Thank Sorry. you. I think Thank are are you. any Thank of you in one? Yeah. Thanks, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just right. Yeah, are any of you in? Oh, oh no, you're Yeah, me. Oh, yeah, me. Yeah. Me how what? Well, yeah. Me how what? Clearly, we know who's you favorite here. You have like here. Uh, You have an event. You have oh, two. The, the two winter hunting, ones. Huh? Yeah. The, the hunting and snowball fight. Yeah. Yes. Is it difficult to record all the heroes for like all hero mode? Um. Oh, I see. Um. Yeah, we have a lot of characters. So I remember when we did. Um, when we did what was the first one called? Um, Uprising. There's like a certain amount of VO that every character needs, just like, hey, they're attacking on the left. And so we actually called back, um, basically we did another session with every single hero, and it was crazy. That was so many hours of recording. Yeah, I was like recording in my, in my hotel room on vacation, and like, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Thanks. you. Uh, hi. hi, I'm Eric. and. Um, uh, do you guys see any like fan art? Like, do you like go on Twitter and see it, or how do you guys see it? Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, I love seeing fan art. I love, like, if anyone in here uploads any fan art of Brigitte or anything else, by the way, just tag me in it because I love seeing fan art and I'd love to like dive into the fanfic, but I don't know where to start even. <laughs> Careful. Should if you say that. <laughs> okay, maybe I shouldn't then. You're gonna be getting stacks of like scripts. <laughs> I mean, I'd like to at least see what's in there, but I, I really love everything, all the fan art and, and the cosplays and stuff like that. It's just, it's really cool to see people um, really get into this world of ours and, you know, get inspired. Yeah, absolutely. I love to reshare, uh, I retweet a lot of fan art, I share stuff on my Instagram. I do not go on the Tumblr because that is a never ending hole of it, which is awesome. I just, I don't have time. I'm trying to keep up on other things. So, but I do, I, I do love sharing. And every time I get fan art at conventions, I share it on my Instagram. I love seeing fan, fan art, especially those little girls, little boys, like five, six years old. They bring a, the picture to you. It's not that fancy, but you can see that they're so cute and they, they pay so much page passion, pa passion into it. I used to do fan art one time, once for, uh, for Frozen. <laughs> oh. 
I, I drew like one or two Elsa. I suck, but I, I love it. I, I love it. I you love need to upload whole. that. Really? We want to see. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Maybe <laughs> one day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi again. Hi, back. Hi. So my question is for Carolina. Do you personally have any nicknames for any of the members of Talon? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> he asked if I have any nicknames for the Talon members. No, but I'm going to start thinking of them. Ooh, how could I not? You know, I just realized that Sombra's kind of like uh, Sawyer from Lost. <laughs> <laughs> or she could be. Do you remember? You watched yeah, Lost. Yeah, yeah. Have we talked about this? No. Sawyer's always, you know, nicknaming everybody, right. which is awesome. And I think Sombra would totally do that. So, well, great question. I'm gonna, I think yes. Reaper, you, you call him Gabe. Yeah, yeah. I say G Gabe. Can I call you Gabe? And then uh, McCree. Joel, is that your real name? Right. Right? And then, um, well, I, Genji, I'm, I call him Sparrow, which I don't think he appreciates. So, yeah, I mean, I... He's like, man. Oh. <laughs> He's like, sticks and stones may break my bones, but I don't have any left, so... That's true. <laughs> <laughs> and then what else I tell, I tell... I mean, I guess I always... All my interactions with other uh, heroes are kind of making fun of them or explaining, like, you know that's not the hacking I do, right? <laughs> um, or cheers, love. So I am making fun of them, but I think I've got to work on them nicknames. Thank you. Great idea, dude. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. You could call uh, you could call Moira like Doc, and she'd be like, "I'm not that kind of doctor." Absolutely. Ooh, yes. Hi. Oh, whoa. That's <laughs> Hi. Hi there. So my question is, uh, what advice would you give to people who are trying to learn a second language? Ooh. Oh, watch a lot of movies, watch a lot of TV shows with the language in it, and um, actually the subtitles really help. Like you, you don't f feel like it, but your your brain connects the two together, and and it helps a lot. And then, well, I mean, for me, English, I learned a lot through video games, and of course through TV and stuff, but a lot through video games. And I mean, just like maybe changing the. Like the settings, th the settings, like on your phone, even just changing it to that language can help a lot because I mean, you already kind of know what's supposed to stand there, so now you know that blah 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 means blah blah blah, you know. So, it, so just like trying to incorporate it in your everyday life, and then of course, taking classes and stuff like that, it could help as well. But I think just like trying to make it an everyday deal so you constantly remind yourself of the thing. I used Duolingo to I was gonna say oh, yeah. some languages, but I think, I don't for me, it doesn't really work. I don't, like, it's not my, like, how I learn languages, but I have a lot of people that use it every day, and they've come really far. Is there, is there language you're, or languages you're trying to learn? So, my mother is actually Mexican, so trying to communicate with my relatives is a bit of a struggle. I've been trying to take Spanish classes, and they don't seem to click, so I was wondering if there's something I'm not doing right. I think, I think uh, we're all scared of practicing the language. Um, I lived in Brazil for a while, and at the beginning, my Portuguese was what I call portuñol, because it was just Spanish with a little Portuguese sprinkled in. And I think you have to uh, lose the fear of making a fool of yourself. You know, I'm constantly in Portuguese going, and so I was, what's that word again? And then they tell me, and I'm like, okay, yes, and now I know that word. And so if your mom talks to you in Spanish, Talk back in Spanish. Not talk back. <laughs> respond. Do not talk back to your mother, young girl. Um, uh, re respond in Spanish, even if it's incorrect, and she'll correct you lovingly. And uh, that's how I've learned languages. You just can't be afraid of putting yourself out there. Um, and I know it's like weird because you're like, oh, my relationship with my mom is in English. But like, if you practice it in Spanish, and then any of your friends who speak Spanish say, hey, I want to practice. And, and then slowly, you know, a few sentences a day. I think it's a matter of, of really practicing. Because you can read it, and that's fine, or you can understand, and that's also fine. I think it's literally getting it into your mouth that is, is how it sits and stays. Yeah. And ask people to correct you as well, because I have a lot of friends that I speak English to all the time, and they don't correct me, so I never learn the right way. So um, I always ask them, to, like, if you notice me doing a mistake, please tell me, because otherwise I won't know, you know? So sometimes you have to, like, specifically tell them to correct you. 
You're right. Tell me. Tell me. Yeah. My fans don't correct me a lot e either. Yeah. Because no, you're evil. <laughs> <laughs> They're scared of you. <laughs> They're scared of me. <laughs> no. Okay, we'll correct you. But you speak really beautiful English. Yeah. That's Thank another you. thing. Don't apologize for your English. Uh -huh. Just yeah. speak it, you know? Thank you. You too. Thank, Thank you. you. Hello. There's probably like a learn Spanish Reddit too. I, I know like oh. a lot of the, and sometimes it's good because they have recommendations like, uh, hey, this is a good movie to watch. Like they have very normal conversations and stuff like that. So I also the think li the listening to music in that language, yes. like choose slower songs, don't choose really, really fast ones. I feel like that's how you start kind of connecting dots and words and stuff. Yeah, and it helps with the pronunciation as well, I think. We have so many tips on this. I know. <laughs> Hi, sorry. So uh, this is to the voice actors among you guys. Um, if you had the chance to voice a character other than your own from Overwatch, who would it be? Oh, this is a good question. Step into my, what does she say? Is it web? Parlor. Parlor, Parlor, says the spider to the fly. <laughs> oh. Only because I wish I spoke French and I don't. <laughs> yeah. I want to go Widow too, but. Oh, darn, sorry. How dare you? Yeah. Um, oh, God, there's so many. I'd love to try them all, honestly, but I really, really like... I mean, I wish I could do Reinhardt. That would oh, be yeah. incredible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think Darren sounds like he has metal in his throat. Yeah. Like, I don't understand where, like, where all that is coming he from. He get tired, too, somehow. I mean, Crazy. he's... yeah. I almost said amazing. Uh -oh. And um, also, but he shows up to his sessions in a suit and tie. Yes. Because he's so formal always. It's so cute. He shows up to life in a suit and tie. Yes, that's right. yeah. Yeah. Sorry, continue. Oh, no. Um, I think maybe I'd like to do Diva. Yeah. I think that would be really cute. LOL. You know, like do that. <laughs> I think she's so school. cute. Exactly. <laughs> I'd love to try her. I like to do. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, yes. Yes. I think we all secretly want to do Junkrat if yeah. we just aren't that insane. Right. Exactly. Michael. Oh, <clears throat> me? Um, yeah. I don't know. Um, just give me a hack the planet. Come on. I've already said hack the planet like three times. <laughs> Only to do me, not to people. To hack the planet. Wait. <gasps> Like darn. Do a Brigitte. Uh, Brigitte, what is what's something Brigitte says? Uh, I love Timé. I love Timé. No. I oh. <laughs> yeah, Winston. That's my that's my usual go-to. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm a big nerd. And it's the, only the glasses thing. Oh, hey, well. that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. No, thing. I do not want a banana. Uh, <laughs> May? Um, what like? Uh, a word. <laughs> Amazing! Wait, it's like, hang oh. in there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, no, let me hear it. Okay. Wait, no, how did she do it? Okay, okay, I can't do it. Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> good sorry. one. <laughs> the best one. Oh, I also would love to do Farah. Oh, oh my oh, gosh. Yes. Yes. When Jen says her ult, I, it just, it's like her eyes pop out of her face. <laughs> Justice reigns from above! Yes. Oh. <laughs> and it's like, she really transforms. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Our last question of the Q&A. Sure. You can, you can, like, can pull it down. Oh, yeah, it. there you go. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. My question is, what's your favorite character outside of the Overwatch universe, like from different games? Ooh. Can I choose a non-game? <laughs> yes. Timon from The Lion King? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> What do you want me to dress and drag and do the hula? <laughs> oh, I love him. Yes. That was completely unexpected. Yeah. I would not really? have guessed. Like, if you, like, I mean, first of all, we're talking about, like, in, like infinite possibility space. Right. But even in that, I don't think I would have guessed that. No. No. Wouldn't be one of my first ten guesses. I love all the sidekicks. I love the genie. I love um, Batty Coda in yeah. Fern Gully. I mean... Robin Williams, that's just a whole other level. Of 
incredibleness, not the goodness. Anyone else? I'm looking at you guys. Me? Um, so a game character? Ooh, let's see. Who's really cool? I'm playing Persona 5 right now. I really like Morgana. Um, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, who else is a really good game character? I like uh, Manny Calavera from Grim Fandango. Um, yeah. Yay! I'm Manny Calavera, and I'm your new travel agent. Uh, yeah, there you go. Is it Elsa? Aww. Is Elsa in the game? Well, yeah, I'm sure she's in some oh. game. Oh, she's probably in Kingdom Hearts, yeah. There you go. Really? Yeah. But Actually, Elise, you know I, I, totally, I, totally, I totally just like d just changed the rules to my game because I, I wanted well, it to be Well, technically, he's a in movie. the game also. Oh, cool. Yeah. See? There you go. Okay. So any character, I guess, just make it something you love. Elsa or, <laughs> or Olaf. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I like I Eeyore, too. Oh, Eeyore's yes. Yeah. Oh, my God. You Thanks for noticing. We really left, yes. like, his game characters here. Sorry, it's no, hard. Eeyore's probably also in a I video think. game. Uh, yeah, 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 probably. He's, they've made, like, a Minecraft game where you build his house with sticks. and then Oh, that's funny. And, and it, of course it falls. Yeah, so you yeah. get to destroy yeah. each other's little huts. <sighs> I mean, um, I s I'd say... I really, really like Aloy from Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh, yeah. She's uh, she's really cool. So I'm going to go with that. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. That now ends the Q&A. And of course, did you all want to say something to all your fans out there, to all of SAC Anime? Um, well, b b b as we close, uh, come say hi to our, at us at our tables. We'll be sitting down there by the autograph area. Come say hi, wave, we can hug, all that good stuff. I will give you some boops. Thank you for coming. And uh, don't bully people online. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Rally to us. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for coming. It is amazing. <gasps> yes. Wait, That's wait, time. wait. How many are we on now? <laughs> 1,000 maybe. Um, 10? Um, okay. Um, all right. Um, wait, Dude, we only did 10? We're not getting to Australia with $10. <laughs> How about we all say it together? Yeah. One, yeah. Two, two, three. three. Um, amazing. Okay, good. And once. And I want to say to all of you, uh, thank you for having me here on stage with you guys to join you guys. It's been truly a pleasure and an honor to talk with you guys. And to everyone here, I'm sure I speak on behalf of everybody, thank you for your time here at SAC Anime. Guys, they will be down the autograph hall from 11.30, I want to say to 1.30 today. And I would like to leave it on a quote, to quote Dr. Harold Winston. Never accept the world as it appears to be. Dare to see it for what it could be. <laughs>